Hey guys, another day sat on a hotel floor and I was getting really down about it so I thought I'd make this video. Home is not a place, it's a feeling. You can be living in your house and still not feel like home. So if you like to travel or even if you're still living with your parents, I'm going to share with you how I try and find that feeling of home. Even when living in a hotel, so I'm going to be here for at least another month and trust me, I am really, really missing my home. Don't get me wrong, I love exploring the world, but it is still so nice to be excited to come back somewhere. And so that's what I'm trying to find in my day to day. First thing that's really been helping me is home comforts. Something as simple as your favorite coffee can really, really change the game, especially if it's something from your hometown or your home country that you manage to find wherever you are. For me, I am loving having a cup of tea in bed and re-watching Drag Race. After a day of new experiences and meeting new people, it just makes me completely forget that I am thousands of miles away from home. Also, making an effort with my appearance, although this may seem superficial, the worst feeling in the world is when you start looking in the mirror and you no longer recognize yourself. Your skin starts to take a toll, your hair starts to take a toll, and like the absolute worst is when you can literally see the light behind your eyes fade. So even today, I'm not doing anything, but I've just put on a light makeup and actually got out of bed <laughs> Um, so I don't repulse myself in the mirror, not as I say because of looking pretty or anything, but just recognizing myself and being like, girl, you still got it. It's such a good feeling and I think that can totally make you feel like home, especially if your, your home environment is toxic, like it's really easy for your confidence to get down. So especially as a woman, put a bit of effort into your appearance and feeling good in your own skin can really, really lift your mood. In terms of your actual space, if you have any access to natural light, please use it to the best of your ability. Otherwise, if you're anything like me, if it's dark, you will just nap and you'll spend your whole day napping. It can make your space feel really depressing if all you do is sleep. It's so important to invite some good emotions into the space and do some things you love to do. So open your windows if you have them, get some light in. If you don't have natural light, just get outside even for 10 minutes. We are human beings. We need to be reminded that there is sun. Natural light is so, so important to us. We can't just be in front of our screens all day, but I won't lecture you any more about that because I'm sure you already know. The difference having a tidy space makes for me is huge, especially if your space is small. I'm really living out of a suitcase at the moment, but still, before I leave every day, I pack everything into the suitcase so there's not just stuff lying about everywhere because it's so stressful and it can be so, so overwhelming when you let it get to the stage where you don't even know what to do or how to start, and then you do start and then you stop and then it looks even worse. So just for a couple of minutes every day before you leave your house or as soon as you get back, just pull your things away and then you can start afresh every single day. And that is the best feeling ever. On a similar vein, this feeds into future self-care. Now I'm sure we all know what self-care is, making ourselves feel good every day, but this future self-care is something like laying out your clothes for the next morning or meal prep. If you're on your period, even getting your sanitary stuff ready, you will feel so grateful to yourself the next day or in a few hours when you've already done the task that you struggle with. It makes it so much easier to get up and go to the gym when your stuff is ready or eat a healthy meal if you already have it ready in the fridge. I have a tiny mini fridge, but I'm trying to fill it with all the healthy stuff that I can so that I don't end up ordering a load of junk food every night and this has been so 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 helpful for me. I have been really struggling to go to the gym since I've been here because it's just so hot. 
even just for half an hour every day making little deals with myself like I'm not allowed on TikTok until I've at least exercised or gone for a walk or something. At the end of the day, we're just like grown up kids. We need little incentives. So if that's what it takes for you to get up and exercise, if you can stick to it or listen to your favorite podcast, but only when you're on the treadmill. So it gives you a reason to get up and go. It makes it so 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 much easier and i know i've never regretted going to the gym once i've been do i dread it before sometimes yes but never ever regret it afterwards and actually i've never heard of anyone who does those hormones that get released are like nothing else all you have is access to your room try some yoga try some stretching try even some ab workouts just to get your heart rate up and releasing those hormones anything is a start don't wait for your life to be perfect to live your dream life because unfortunately then it will never come so just start today in whatever little way you can I know I speak about meditation a lot but this vein of meditation can be so so helpful if you're not really happy in your home environment and that is visualization taking 15 minutes in your morning and visualizing your higher self and her home it can make you feel so aligned and then you will know in your heart that that is truly coming for you this has been so so special for me especially in the last week i've been visualizing my future self and me with my husband and my children in our beautiful home in beautiful countryside and it just makes me feel like that's really coming for me and it makes it so much easier to be here because I know this is just one of the steps on my journey to that life and I am very very excited and having that inner knowing I just release really all surrender because I know that my dream life is truly coming. I've spoken about therapy before, but we don't all have access to it. So for me, my therapy is speaking to you guys or just filming videos that sometimes I don't even post to just speak about whatever is on my mind. For me, it's this, which just inspires me now to go and have a cozy evening and do all the things I'm speaking about. So if you can't afford therapy, trust me, voice noting and listening back and sort of working through your thoughts yourself is really, really life-changing. It can be so hard when you have a thousand thoughts racing through your head to actually work out what's going on but you can't really speak a thousand thoughts at once so actually having to get them out whether they be on voice note or on paper and actually see or hear physically what's going on in your mind can really really help and the last one I'm going to speak about is gratitude now this isn't for me to take away how hard your life situation is because at the end of the day I don't know that and I can't give you specific advice on anything you're going through. But for me, even though I'm living in a hotel away from all my friends and family and it's not the nicest hotel and it's not even the cleanest hotel, being grateful I have a roof over my head, being grateful to have the opportunity to be here, being grateful that people have been so kind to me keeps me really grounded and stops me dwelling on the negative because as soon as you do, as soon as I start thinking about the fact I don't want to be here, I just completely spiral into a place I really don't want to be. And it's so easy to do that. If your life's tough, it's really, really hard not to get stuck on that, but it's not helping you five things every day that you're grateful for and I promise you your mindset will shift and you will naturally start to be grateful for more because that's what your mind gets adapted to looking for. As always my loves my dms are open I promise I do always reply it may take a while but I always do and I love speaking to you so please head over to my instagram and drop me a message if you want to talk about trying to find home because it's something that's really hitting hard for me at the moment and if you need help with it we can totally help each other but all that being said I hope to see you back here very 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 soon bye guys